All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm your host of the most KIR podcast. And this video, what we're going to be talking about is the Z Fold. My thoughts on it. Let's review it. Now, before we sit up there and start reviewing it, let me plug myself real quick with a shameless plug. Our water bottles are definitely in stock for the holidays. If you want one, please feel free to email me at krpodcast at yahoo.com and let me know. This is our White Cup KR Podcast with, of course, the sound something at the bottom. And on the back, for you lovers of that stuff, that smoke is sexy and beautiful. Again, we have them in stock and we are ready to ship. And it is a cold cop, hot or cold. Also, if you don't like the white one, we have it in black. Different version, but KR Podcast, as you can tell. Nothing on the back of this one. But again... Hot or cold, this is for you. Also, <clears throat> for those, we have these. Also, the Carol Podcast mask. You know what I'm saying? We out here trying to plug ourselves for the holidays. Don't be afraid to get with your boy. You know how we do. So, enough of the plugs. Just want to let you know what we got going on for the holidays. What we came here to talk about, and as you can tell from the title, the Z Fold. So I've been rocking the Z Fold probably as a daily driver going on for probably, I want to say, about, about two weeks now. So I think we're able to talk about it. It is in a case. We also have the pin on the back, as you can tell. And the case has clip for your hand. Also has one for the cameras. A lot of this video, I'm going to compare that to the S22 Ultra. So, as you know, I have both. And also, we're going to throw a little bit in dealing with the Watch 4. So, just so you know what we got going on. So, the number one question I always get about these is, which one do you like the most? S22 Ultra or the Z Fold? First of all, let me sit up and say the S22 Ultra is my jam. It's my joint. And as of right now, I think S22 Ultra is a safe bet for almost anybody. Now, I believe the Z Fold is more of a niche thing, and we will go in depth in that in this video. But for right now, I would say the S22 Ultra be more of the phone to go. First and foremost, the reason why I would say that is because this is significantly cheaper. If you get the Z Fold 3, that is definitely cheap. You get around an Amazon Renewed or from Samsung, probably about $900 or $1,000. So that's used and that's also new. Z Fold 4, you're still looking at about $1,800 to $2,100, depending on which one that you have. This particular one that I have currently right here is going to be your 512 gigabyte model with 12 gigabytes of RAM. A little expensive phone. This also is a 512 gigabyte S22 Ultra. So I'm not going to say either one of them are cheap, but what I will say is there are a few differences. And we're going to go over the basic stuff today. Mainly going to focus on the Fold, but I'm also going to tell you bringing in the S22 Ultra so I can tell you why. I think S22 Ultra is for the masses currently at this moment in time. First off, I'm going to say this fingerprint sensor on the S22 Ultra right there in that spot on screen is hot. I love it. Granted, it's an OtterBox case. Of course, the cameras are 108 megapixels and these cameras are the junk. I love them. Hands down. Now, for the Fold, it's going to be right here on the fingerprint sensor. I'm not saying that this is not hot. As you can see, the phone is open. This is a very hot thing. I'm in uh, Dragon Ball Z. That's why you can tell that's on the front screen. That is nothing wrong with that. Now, let's also get into another thing of the reason why I say that I am more a ultra person and that most people want this more anyway is because the width of this. When you're texting on this, See both thumbs, you can get it in and get it going. With this right here, hold on. Let me put out a blanket text so we can see exactly what I'm talking about so you can get an idea. So when you go right here, you go into text. You see how small this is? See how, see how small these are? That's to me is extremely small as far as texting go. Now, that is the main reason why I would say that the S22 Ultra would be better because, again, it is much bigger as far as the keyboard go. Now, there's different keyboards you can put on this one. 
to make this one hot too. But again, I feel like this is just a much better, bigger situation, a, a bigger one where you can text on. Let me look at this real quick. Let me see if I can pull one up so you can get an idea when I say that, what I mean. Let's make up another number. So look at the keyboard. See, these keys are significantly bigger. So you're able to get more of a natural text style with this. So that's why I would say this particular one is better far as texting goes. I also like the fact that power button's right there. Again, this one is right here, right on the side, but I just feel like this one is a little bit better. The next thing that I particularly like the S22 Ultra or better or fault the fold for is the width of this right here. The Z Fold, see how this is? It's still candy bar style. I'm not saying candy bar style is cool, but you look at this, it's a little bit wider. You probably need more like the Oppo Fold or, you know, the Xiaoming Fold where it's a little bit wider. Well, the Oppo. I think the Oppo is probably the, the best fold now because, again, it's wider, the width. See about that inch right there? That's the part that you need to get your typing on a little bit better as far as texting go. Now, again, I do like the fact that you have different lock screens where you have this one that's my boy goku all day every day and then we open it up bam this is what you came to see the glorious one right here okay you know if you know anything about me you know i drive fast cars that's what it is skyline r34 there we go this is an app that i have basically on here that's you know making it rain on it so we open up it always looks like it's raining which is hot see this is cool and that's 7.6 inch screen display is definitely hot i think it's something that you know anybody and everybody would want and i think that's good you know i think it's it's very understandable and i can see why you would want it now again when the screen is open i think it's great if you made it wider like this one this probably would make this a lot bigger or again with the oppo i think it's the perfect size you just have to shrink the top but again i think if google comes out with a fold the google foldable will be hot also Due to the fact that, you know, word on the street is it's going to be wide like the Oppo, which will be great, which I think is something that people would love and like. This candy bar shape is great. Let's talk about the next thing that I think is also great. This fold pen is awesome. It works great on your inner screen. When you open it up, as you can see, you can swipe up. You do whatever you want. Slide through. You look at your games. You know, say so you're just playing something like this. There you go. You got it. Surround sound going on. You can play your game. Tap on it. Play how you want to play. Now, let me give you the push again because, you know, I always want to give you the both sides of the situation. Is when you come over to the S22 Ultra, sucker's baked in. It's small. But it handles business. And I like it. Because guess what? When I'm done and everybody trying to put this on the back, I put them on right here. Hit that click. Bam. It's over. This, you got to worry about not losing it. I think that's pretty much a pretty huge downside. Now, again, the UI, the 12L, I think it runs great on this phone. I think it makes the wrong phone run very beautiful, very great. You're going to do a lot of your work on this cover screen right here. As you notice, you're going to have a different uh, lock screen cover if you want. So, like, let's say if I was a, well, it's going to pick that up real quick. So, let me do a finger down on how registered. See, I can have another lock screen cover right here for Christmas style, which is great. Now, one thing about the fingerprint sensor, if you're going to do it, I have it on this thumb. You also should probably get it on the middle finger right here because you can reach around with the phone like that. It helps you out better. Of course, flex mode is hardcore on this. Let me get that going real quick. That's great. The hinge on this thing is it's awesome. It's beautiful. You know, you got your hinge right here. You always want to protect your hinge. You want to protect your back. You want to protect your six. I think it's great. Now, again, this is a great phone, but the main reason why I have pushed with it is because of the things that I told you. The S pin, I'm sorry, the fold pin needs to be going inside the phone. Needs to be a little bit wider here. I think the cameras from here need to be on here. They need to find a way to do that. I do believe on the Fold 5, they'll probably take the cameras from the S22 Ultra 
and put it back here. Probably not the new camera, that 208 megapixel camera. You probably won't do it because you want to have a duh, differentiate which phone is which. But again, for two thousand dollars, you got to do a little bit better. All in all, this has been a great phone. It works well with the uh, Watch 4. <clears throat> Some of you probably wonder why I don't have a Watch 5 due to the fact I like the rotating bezel. See that? You hear that? Let me put it right here. That right there to me is what makes this watch. That's what separates this watch from the Apple Watch. When you go to the Watch 5, I feel like, eh. All right, granted, you're going to say it's circled. Apple Watch is square. But my Apple Watch Ultra is, is it's a nice watch. There's no denying that. The best thing about this phone is always going to be this right here a 7.6 inch display now the battery life on this one and this one is about the same it is not an iphone so you can't expect iphone mileage you have to be honest with yourself you're not going to get it but to say that this is not a fantastic phone you're crazy but to say the reason why most people want this is because this is not prime time ready yet this a thousand percent sure can't take a drop like this because of this wide screen you're not going to be walking around you know looking not look where you're going just like this like this oops oops can you some people do that but to me that is crazy this camera right here sucks i mean sucks don't use it use either this one in the front right here or use your babies right here in the back now most people don't like a case some people like to rock this thing naked or nude and I have an issue with it because I've seen people get dirt back here. Acts funny. Another big gripe I have with this thing is the screen protectors on these things suck. It sucked on the three, sucks on the four. Can you take it off? You can. Should you take it off? Probably not. But to each its own. It's a screen protector on the front. Again, should you pull it off? No, but some people do. So at the end of the day, I think this is a great phone. I think it's a niche phone. I just don't think the candy bar is ready for prime time yet because one, a lot of y'all gonna use this pen. Two, you want the cameras off of this. You want the best if you're paying two stacks. Three, you wanna be able to text. Granted, you text one hand, but technically you wanna be like this. I love the fact they have different lock screens from here. When I open here, close this out, I slide on here. I think that's hot. I think the fact that you can do this is very good. I think it's very a customizable phone. And I think that, you know, niche or some people will like it. I just don't believe this is a phone for everybody. Because some people have small hands. That may be an issue for you. So it's just one of those things where you have to determine, are you ready for a phone? I've sat on this and this was a fine. I sat on this when I didn't have a case on it and I almost heard it go crack. So it's one of those things. You got to look to yourself. Do you believe this one is for you or this one is for you? But what I'm telling you from my perspective for playing rock and both and having this for since launch and having this for quite a while now. This is the better hit for most people right now. I just don't recommend going in a recession in 2023, spending two thousand dollars on a phone. Granted, you have great rebates and Samsung offering deals. You can probably get it for five hundred with a trade in, which is high. I would say if you want to test it, go to Amazon Renewed or go to Samsung website, pay the $1,000 for new and get one renewed or used for about 800 bucks a Galaxy 3 and try it. If you want a 4, you got to pay the $500 and trade something in. Or on well, Amazon, it's $1,400 cash. But again, also get you some gigabytes. I always believe in at least a half a terabyte due to the fact that if you never know, pictures, video stuff take up space. So I'm not saying that this phone would be for everybody. But out of these two, most people are going to want to rock this. So to sum it all up, should you get a Fold? Yes, if you have another main phone. No, if it's going to be your main phone due to the fact that I feel like it is not ready for prime time yet. But if you are a person that doesn't mind being in the beta or being in the no or being first to a phone and try to have something that you can stun on people with because this is a stunner then this is the phone for you because you want to be able to open this up when you talk to somebody and be like bam and all this glory and baby deal self this is hot when people look at you they're gonna be like wow 
Look at that phone. But again, just one of those things that make you go, hmm. I just think for two grand. Don't do it. It's not it. Put that to the side. Go on, spend your little twelve, thirteen hundred dollars. Get you one of these mother suckers for right now. Because I know you want to do it for the gram. I know you want to take pictures. And that's why I recommend this. We'll drop a gaming video tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Don't forget to hit that bell. I appreciate you. If anyone else decided to kick with me, I want to say thank you. Don't forget our cups are in stock, baby. Come by. Check us out. Carol Podcast at Yahoo.com. Link in the description. Let you know what I'm rocking. Let you know what cuts we have. And I catch y'all tomorrow. Peace. You know how I like to do it. <clears throat> and I ain't sick no more, baby. We back.